back. Let's take the story a little bit further. And at the same time, please tweet us at Morning Live SABC. We really want to hear from you about this incident and perhaps other incidents that you know of in the areas and suburbs you live in. Residents in Rosettenville vandalized, burnt down property belonging to alleged drug dealers and brothel owners in the area. Members of the community have been protesting, calling for the closing down of these brothels. Uh, Johannesburg Mayor Herman Mashaba visited the area on Sunday and said the city, the city will set up a specialized task team to oversee the matter. He's in studio with us to talk a little bit more about it. Thank you so much, Mayor. Thanks very much again for being with us on the program. No, thank you very much uh, to be here yeah. on a sad day where our country is plunged uh, into unacceptable behavior by criminal elements. Uh, it's, yeah. it's really very sad. You're referring to those that are running these brothels as Absolutely. opposed to those that went in and actually no, did no, 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 no. It. I think the, the community is desperate. Our yeah. people are really desperate. They're crying for help, political leadership. Uh, I just listened to uh, Colonel uh, Lamini here. I feel sorry for our law enforcement agencies that are actually failed by political leadership in this country with porous borders where South Africa is made to be a heaven for criminals. Yeah. So I've, this has got to end. I, in a way, uh, uh, when you say you feel sorry for them, I, I somehow don't feel sorry for them. I do. You, you I do. I've know. been on the ground. At, You've at, seen what's going on. I see what's going on. But let's and take, for instance, what's happening and the allegations against the, the Moffat View police station, which you yourself mentioned in your press release, mm -hmm. saying that they are working in cahoots with these supposed Nigerian foreign nationals. And that <laughs> worries me. I can't feel sorry well, for them. Well, let me tell you, I think uh, on Sunday, talking to some of uh, our young girls, who are very forced to be prostituted by, by these uh, drug dealers, uh, where obviously some of the police are made to, uh, to pay by services of these young girls by, by, by these uh, criminal elements. You can imagine how, as a, fa as a father, as a parent, you've got to feel in a situation like this. Yeah. But overall, a big percentage of our law enforcement agencies are crude men and women. They are compromised by the level of criminality that's in, 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 in our city with uh, so many of uh, the, these people who are in, in our country legally with no documentation. On Sunday, if I had a place to take these people, I wanted to arrest them myself. Yeah. And I realized the implications yeah. Yeah. where if some of these uh, criminal elements are saying they're seeking amnesty in our country, I'm calling on the, on the national government, home affairs in particular, Please protect our residents, protect our country. Yeah. Don't play. We cannot afford to have South Africa as a failed state allowing criminals uh, to be in our country. So work as a matter of agency to ensure that those that deserve to get uh, asylum papers, you give them. And those that we need to get out of our country, let's do that. Because for us as JMPD, we are committing. As of uh, tonight, we're going to start uh, making life difficult. Johannesburg is going to be very small for them. Mm, but the mm. challenge for us that we are sitting with, where do we take uh, this criminal element? Yeah. So national government, particularly Home Affairs, they've got to start preparing themselves. If they don't know where to find these people, we will find, find them for, for them, give it to them. Either give them asylum documentation to be in that country legally or please get them out of our country. My worry was when I heard uh, Colonel Domini talking about the fact that they were aware of some of the girls that had escaped and that had gone back to these particular brothels. So they are aware of it and that's what worries me. And in an instance where you brought up a father who knows his daughter is there perhaps, you know, it gets to a point where you're reporting it, you're trying as hard as you can, and yet nobody's doing anything. So the community then will take the law into their own hands. And as much as we don't want that situation, if no one is going to help them, they will help themselves. How is the mayor, are you going to turn these things around? Well, the, the thing is, uh, Leanne, we sit with a huge problem because... Us as a city of Johannesburg, we don't have control over our borders. That is why our national government has to take the responsibility because they are the ones responsible for our borders. They are the ones responsible for issuing documentation to, to human beings. You know, I keep telling people, in this country, as a South African, at birth, like right now there's a child being born in this country, by law you've got to on, at birth immediately be given uh, a birth certificate. At the age of 16, Leon, as a South African, it's not negotiable. You've got to have an identity documentation. Why then, all of a sudden, we are allowing people from coming from all over the world, we're saying, no, it's okay for them not to have documentation. But we're imposing this on South Africans. Yeah. This is unacceptable. Human beings anywhere in the world, as citizens, 
whether you're a foreigner or you're a national, you have to have identity documents so that we know who's in us in, in your country. Why should South Africa be an exception? I'm yeah. saying, and I'm calling on South Africans, we're not going to allow this. We should not really allow our country to be a heaven for criminals. Just finally, Mayor, if I, if I may, uh, you know, obviously this community have tried. They've tried to approach the police. The police have not done anything about it. Uh, as a matter of fact, again, I bring it up that there are allegations that the police are actually involved in these particular activities and getting uh, bribes to just keep quiet. How do people report this? Who do they turn to if the people that are there to protect them are actually the ones that are, are, are not doing anything about it and are involved in this crime. Do you perhaps have a helpline? Do people well, get hold of well, you? Uh, just by yesterday, I wrote in the last two weeks the third letter to the home for, to the Minister of Home Affairs. Mm. The third letter yesterday, I wrote to him requesting an agent meeting to, on this on this and, matter. And no I, I had a meeting with him late last year. He promised by end of January at the latest we'll have an emergency meeting to deal with this matter. Yesterday, I wrote the third letter. I'm still waiting up to now. Yeah. I wrote a letter to the uh, divisional commissioner, provincial commissioner. Fortunate enough, uh, the Colonel, uh, General uh, uh, Delange, she's given me her commitment. I believe she's on, on leave. But I wrote a letter to her. Because for us as a city of Johannesburg, as JMPD, we can arrest those people. We know who they are and where to find them. And we are going to make life difficult for them in the city of Johannesburg. Okay. But at the end of the day, we've got to give them to someone else. I'm asking... Home Affairs Department to start preparing themselves because us as a city of Johannesburg, we are going to be arresting these people. But obviously we don't have jails. We don't have uh, the, the power to issue identity document. So I'm asking national government, Home Affairs in particular, as we arrest these people from tonight going forward, please tell us where to take them yeah. so that you can either issue them with uh, uh, documentation or you get them out of our country. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's all we can really do because we can arrest them. We give them to subs. Do we have enough prisons to keep them? And the following day, they're back on our streets. And you can show, I mean, it's really sad on Sunday uh, visiting the various uh, communities how these uh, criminal elements have no respect whatsoever for the loss of this country. Yeah. They do it uh, without uh, any respect whatsoever. And uh, our communities are so desperate. They can't sell their houses. They can't run anywhere. Where must our people run to, into the sea? <laughs> and now what happens? Because they make it difficult for us, people end up leaving, abandoning their houses. They take them, turn these houses into prostitution houses, into yeah. drug dens uh, at night, to beat up these this, uh, this kids uh, at, at night. You know, to one of the family members, uh, the, the big neighbor, was telling me how they cannot sleep because at yeah. night uh, these girls are, are beaten up. Uh, they are forced to, to do things that are unacceptable. Yeah. And, and, uh, and can someone this really happen under so, our watch as South Africans? This is unacceptable. This has got to come to an end. Just as a closing note, because I mean, I mean, we do, I mean, they're horrific stories, nine-year-old girls being used as prostitutes. I mean, it's things that you don't want to know that are happening uh, just up the road from where you live. I mean, and that scares the daylights out of me. But you, you say this task team, the JMPD task team that you're going to be putting into action, when are they beginning their work and well, how are they I going think, to operate? Well, uh, I think yesterday when I had a meeting with uh, MMC San, he says they were having a meeting today. They'll give me feedback for me i would have wanted them to start yesterday okay but the challenge for us yes we will go out and arrest them but the challenge is where are we going to take them that's why i'm calling on national government uh, home affairs in particular as we arrest these people please tell us where to take them because we can't take them we don't we know where to take them okay. it is not our competency as a municipality that's a responsibility there's porous borders for people to be coming into our country illegally Home Affairs, national government has to take direct responsibility in this regard. All right, we leave it there. Thank you very much for talking to us here on the program. Uh, of course, the uh, Johannesburg Mayor, Herman Mashaba, visiting the area on Sunday and talking to us about the uh, recent property that was used as drug dens and brothels in Rosettenville. And uh, hopefully this JMPD task team will be put on the streets and sort this out as soon as possible. All right, it is 7 o'clock. It's time for your news.